All right, folks, it's the morning of day one, Crappie Masters, Darbone. And uh, we've got a lot of rain in the area. Check it out, kind of very overcasty, and it's rained a lot last night. So it's very ominous. It appears to be, and looks like it could rain at any second again. So we expect a lot of rain today, to be honest with you. Um, but we're uh, headed back to kind of the spillway area. And that's where we're still seeing good marks just uh, out here by themselves. And uh, that's where we, we got the 2.2 yesterday. So this is where we're starting. This is where we feel good about it. And we're gonna, you know, we've got a path of one, two, three different spots that we're gonna probably hit on this side of the lake. That's the plan. So thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. That means a lot. And uh, we'll take you along for the entire journey today. So here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies. And so just another day on Darbone Lake, uh, you know, muddy water, bright colors, that's what we're using, small baits, downsizing, all that good stuff, anything it takes to get the, uh, the fish to bite. Minnows did not seem to do the trick. So um, we're probably gonna primarily stay with hair jigs. That's kind of been our, our ticket. Although Marcus has been using plastics. He's so, pretty good with them too. Yeah, he's doing pretty good with the plastics, so. Fish number one, didn't take much, seven minutes. We need bigger. All right, in this episode, I'm gonna take you all the way to the end, to the stage on day one on this episode, okay? So we catch a ton of fish. We get off to a fantastic start. In fact, we never leave our number one spot because we continually saw great marks. Now, I wanna walk through kind of the setup that me and Mark Marcus are using, and uh, well, let's Whoa, see a couple more catches, possible. and then I'll get right to that. That was uh, approximately four minutes later. <laughs> you don't have to call yet if you want to wait for the good agent to <laughs> that guy was only four foot down. Hey, how about that net job? That's how you don't do it, folks. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not net ready. I'm glad I didn't do that to your <laughs> Good job, Marcus. Thank that you. was fun to watch that fish move turn. Go right for it. So this is how me and Marcus work it, okay? And I think it's just fantastic. And I'm going to make a lot of comments about it throughout this video. Marcus is essentially the net man, and he embraces that. It is just as powerful as the guy catching the fish. At the end of the day, what's important on our boat is that my foot is on that pedal. I, I essentially just do it so much, I, I, there's no reason why I shouldn't have my foot on the pedal the entire time. So Marcus will do whatever he can to make sure that that doesn't change. And so he's culling fish, he's netting the fish, he's doing whatever he can to keep me with a pole and my foot on that pedal. So. That's what I think it makes a great team is that it does not matter who's catching the fish. All that matters is that we're getting fish in the boat. This is by far our best start on Darbone since we've been to this beautiful lake. And uh, I think it's showing how great this type of team works, this type of setup works in catching the fish. Now, if you recall, I said that we had a two, three, and four spot on the lake, but I'll tell you folks, 
every time we turned around, we had another mark going after. We never saw the need to leave this spot. We never expected that to occur, um, but I can tell you that we never left the spot. We, we fished within a 200 yard area, never left that period. And every time we turned around, we had another mark. We were constantly fishing. So Marcus might net a fish, come back, boom, he's already having to net another one. That's how quick, quick the action was happening. touch minnows folks it's just the hair jigs I've been making you can check those out on my website I'm only putting I'm not custom making them I'm just putting the ones that you're seeing in the videos and uh, they're working for me I can tell you that day there's your two pounder that's how you work man as a team that's freaking awesome that's beautiful. all right so what i think i'm going to do after we catch this fish right here is i'm going to take you to the weigh-in at the crappie masters and then we're going to come back to finish off a lot of the fish that we caught now there are a lot of dandies left uh, that we're going to be catching but i'm going to go ahead and take you to the crappie masters and then we're going to come back and catch the rest of these fish and show you how those fish were caught. <laughs> we're gonna call that one lunch break. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Good job, man. That's a pig, that might be a two pounder. That might be the first two pounder. 1.8, 1.9, two pounds, that's a hammer. Marcus was taking a lunch break. Let me see that thing. Hammer right there, boy. That's a good fish. Go ahead, dude. 1.94. This is going to call out a 1.11, number two. Oh, hold on. Is that number two? That's a seven. 1.71. Yeah. So we're gonna be calling out a one, two, three, number eight. Perfect, that was a leader. What do you think, Marcus? Third place.
Oh, no, let me get a picture of you with that one. Okay. Awesome. They have seven fish, three pound fishes. Matt Laviano, Marcus Garrison. Ozark Rod team. They got some fish today, folks. Take a look here. The 1346 to take the lead. Gonna be close. It'll be a little shy, but they're gonna put them in great shape for championship Saturday. 1307. Matt Maviano, Marcus Garrison. All right, you guys got a big one in there? Nope. Nothing big, okay. That's an awesome sight right there. Look at all the boats, dude. All right, as promised, we are back to catch the fish. This is how we caught those fish. Man, what a great first day. For us, 13 pounds was just astounding. We're, our actual goal was to get anything over 11 and so to have that kind of start was fantastic. Now, we ran into a lot of rain, folks. Check it out. This was, without a doubt, the rainiest day that we had had. And it just starts to come down like you wouldn't believe. So, uh, proper gear, real important. Marcus is sporting the old AFTCO uh, rain gear, which is awesome. I'm, of course, a striker ice man, personally. Um, I think it's great. It's warm. But, man, look at this rain come. Unbelievable. And we are still at it. 110%, without a doubt, that is our motto. And always to try to catch more fish on day two of any tournament. So, day one, fantastic start for three-pound fishing. It's a good first day for us, no doubt about it. The zombie is crushing it, you'll see that on the website. It is all about presentation, it is all about being really, 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 really still. Unbelievable. That's got to call out big time. 1.8. 1.8. That's a huge call out. 1.82. 1.82 calls out of 1.27. Yep. And that's us keep we're keeping eight fish until we get to the to the weigh in. Oh, I lost both jigs. I know what happened. I guarantee you I know what happened. Me messing with that second hook. Messing with that second hook. Dude, that was a good fish. That was another 1.8 anyway. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Me messing with that top hook, getting it straightened out, pierced the line. You notice Marcus takes the live scope and he start he keeps fishing while I'm making up my new line. And that's the beauty of having a great fisherman along with a great net guy. And sure enough, boom, he hooks right into it. I mean, that's that's the power of having a great fisherman as the net guy and the guy that understands the role on the boat. And man, he comes through right here big time. All 
I also, you know, I want to continue to say, stress the importance of this. Marcus is like on it. Check how he will put stuff aside. Everything's really quiet when he sees what's about to occur. So although we're both pitching at it, he realizes that I'm really on it. And boom, he identifies it and he's on it quickly with the net. You can't get any better than that, folks, let me tell you. And um, it makes the team. It definitely makes the team. All right, so the, you guys that have uh, followed us during Table Rock, me and Marcus, you remember the fog. Now, you just check this out. I mean, it's legit now. I mean, visibility is probably about 150 yards, something like that. Um, I would not want to be going through those lanes. But, hey, we just want to say uh, before we go to the weigh-in today, um, and I'm taking you there, I uh, appreciate all the sponsors. Uh, I, can't, I, I don't want to go through all of them. I just want to say thank you. And uh, we appreciate it for all your support. So, thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.